Right, hi, uh, what's going on here? Well, there's a bit of a mess going on here. I'm actually in the middle of putting more pages together for little books. Um, I've done some already, I'll probably show you those tomorrow. So what's going on here? I've got a tiny little bit of collage on there, tissue paper. Okay, and that's going to have a Suffolk puff added to it and then it's going to go on a page. Now this is a circle of fabric, trust me it's a circle. Might not look like a circle, but it's a circle. It's sufficient anyway to make a Suffolk puff. And it's from a very old handkerchief, so it's very, very soft and non-compliant. It's an unruly handkerchief. It's a rebel of a handkerchief. So I'm just going to put this together and hopefully pull it tightly into submission and get a half decent passable Suffolk puff out of this because I think this colour will match what's going on in that little collage perfectly. The little collage bit, the piece of paper it's on measures four by two inches because the pages of the book books uh, plural will be five by five inches so see I'm managing to beat into submission you will be a circle trust me so now then almost there right, take the needle off the safer for me if I do that tie this together it's like a little tiny pocket fiddle with it for a little bit Fiddle, fiddle. Come on. Play the game. There. There. Oh, that's quite an acceptable little puff, considering it didn't want to uh, go into a circle. So I'm going to get a different needle with a bigger eye, because I'm not in the mood for fighting threading needles. So. Still can't do it. I mean, I think if the fabric was crisper, we would have had a more defined knot. But this is very aged, so it's got its own charm. Trust me, I say that a lot. Right, so let's have a look where we're going to put it on here. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put it there. Why not? Why not indeed? So... Literally... I haven't even started the one for myself yet. Um, it's like if you're married to a, a guy who's a builder or a plumber or works in construction or something. Your house is the last house to get fixed, isn't it? You're the one that needs the new bathroom or the new wall or something. It's like that living with me. If you need embroidery, the last in the queue. Right, so there. So there, I think that's fine, that. And it didn't take long, did it? So now I've got some pages cut out here. It could go on there because I'll be putting something on that one. Or Because what I want to see is how it'll live with that. Because that's a little bit of doodling that I did with paint. So I'm thinking that this page could be that, couldn't it? So that, because the tones, it's tonally similar. With the blue and the grey. I've got new 
double sided tip. I do have other, but I'm using up the ends of rolls. So that's what this is all about. So let's see if we can just get a little page put together here. See, it doesn't take long to uh, do this bit, but if you think about all the little tiny pieces of work that are put into these, that's where the time comes in. I want to try and peel the back off this without spoiling my paper. Come on. Do you know, if, I was, if you weren't watching, this would probably come off straight away. It's always the way. It's like if you weren't watching, I'd thread my needle first time. Right, so, I want to be able to see this, but it's straight. That's it. Oh, that's quite nice. I'm just letting yeah. Straight, and then I'll put this one here. I'm going to use narrower to put this one. So using up a couple of uh, roll ends. I only need one down the middle really for that. Fingers crossed that I don't struggle too much anymore to get the. Uh, Right, let's have a look. You can see it. I need to kind of lean over a little bit. I've got a bit of fluff there or something. There. And that's one page. One page done. So we've got collage, doodling with a paintbrush and a, a lovely, actually very lovely Suffolk puff on there. Okay.